the, the first block. <clears throat> Thank you, parents. The first part of the blot is is hard, and the second part is 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 quick. So we'll try and get as much as we can. Look, pensions five two, right? So we got about forty five minutes now. Yes, five two. For those that were showered already, which is not me. So, <laughs> yeah, I've been trying. One of my New Year's resolutions was to try and get myself ready earlier, but it hasn't been happening. Anyway, <laughs> if anybody, if anybody has eights for me. Yeah. So, okay. So we were saying that. No, we're no, about I, would this. Say, I would say the answer that I told you I want to do for a lot while is take away the phone for two hours a day. <laughs> I know. I know. It may be. <laughs> it, would, it would help a lot. It would help a lot. Trust me. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so, so we had said in the Mishnah that this lady got remarried. And she forced the husband, she didn't force the husband agreed to feed the kid for five years. And then and the next husband, and they did the same thing. And then she got divorced. And well, she got divorced. Then the next husband did it. And then they both have to give her money. One has to give her food, actually. One has to give her money. All right. So then we said that this, there's a concept of somebody going to somebody else and saying, hey, I owe you money. So normally that's not a chiv because there's no, there's no uh, star, there's nothing. But we said it's a machlaik, is if a guy says, I'll write it in a star that I owe you money, so whether that's considered a chiv or not. So we want to bring a, so now that, that's what we left off. That's a machlaik. If somebody says, I'll write, I'm going to write, he writes in the star, he actually does write a star that says, I owe, uh, Ruben says, I owe Shimon a hundred, a hundred dollars. So it's a machlaik if that works. And I think wants to prove from our Mishnah with these two husbands, these two ex-husbands, um, having to give money to the, to the wife. So Tanan, on the second line up from the bottom, on Kufal from Beis. So Tanan, on Isa, is Aisha, somebody marries a woman who paska ima lozen a speed to chameshonim, and they decide to feed the woman. The, they decide to feed the, the daughter five years. Chayiv lozen a chameshonim, they have to feed five years. My love. Ki agavna. How, how does it, what's the case? What's the case that he has to feed? How do we know that they have to feed for five years? Must be that the guy admitted to it. Meaning there's no there's no aidus here. Meaning if it was if the guy, meaning what's the case of the Mishnah? If he agreed to it and there's a star, right? So then well, it's partial he has to give her for five years. Why shouldn't he have, he made a deal and he has to keep the deal? So it must be talking about where well, there's no there was no agreement in place and he's admitting to it. So you see that when somebody admits to it, it's a problem. So we say Loi Bishari Psikta. We're not talking about, you know, there was no official deal, but there was a Pshari Psikta, which, which, which sounds to me like it's Tanayim. That's the way Rashi says it. It's a Tanayim. Before the wedding, they get together and they make a Tanayim, what exactly each side is, gonna, is going to give. Even though, and here it's, and they didn't sign anything. They just made a verbal agreement. Ukhtar Rav Gidol, right? Dhamma Rav Gidol, we're on the top of Kupay Zamral. Ukhtar Rav Gidol, Dhamma Rav Gidol. Amarav, kama ata nice labincha, kach ve kach. He guy says, How much are you giving to your how much are you giving for your son? This and this amount. But kama kama ata nice labincha, how much are you giving for your daughter? Kach ve kach. Amdu ve kitchu. And then they got up, they made the kiddushin ve kanu. And they're kind of, so it works. Hein hein atvaram and nikna bamira. These are things that you can do a kinyan with just saying things. Now, normally, normally we don't do kinyan with just verbal agreements. Verbal agreements are not really. I mean, you have to keep your word, but that's a different story. But normally we don't do things with verbal agreements, but this would be because here the father agreed, both fathers agreed to, to the terms of the deal of them getting married and then they get married and therefore they have to keep it. So that's what happened here. This husband said that he is going to give five years support to the stepdaughter and both sides agreed to it. So therefore that's considered binding. So it was not that he just admitted it on his own. So Toshima so now we know five to six we know that you have to give you have to be the, the firstborn right you have to give five slime so if a guy writes to a coin he writes in a star i owe you five slimes so and now you think okay so now he has to pay that's the pigeon up and money so he has to give him chamish and once he gives the money, the son is not redeemed, <laughs> right? So what does that mean? He tells the coin, he writes for a star for the coin. 
I owe you five. And he gives him five. And the, there's no Pidyon Aben. Why not? Because we're going to say that that star was for a previous loan that the Koyan lent him. This is not going on the Pidyon Aben money. It's going on the previous loan. All right? So you see, um, since now, so what's the proof? So you see from this that the star works for a previous loan. Because otherwise, we'd say he meant if it doesn't work for a previous loan, then he would he would be putter from giving him the five slam, right? He'd be putter because because the it can't be talking about a previous loan because a previous loan doesn't work, right? So therefore, um, it must be that we see that if a guy writes in a star that he owes somebody money, that it works. So it's a kasha on Rabbi Yochanan because Rabbi Yochanan had said that a star. Does not work. So when I answer Shani Hassan, the Meshukbid No. <coughs> there is different. When he gives a start to a Kayan, he's Meshubin Minatairo. Right? He's Meshubin in a to give him money for uh for uh, for a Bechar. Right? And Mamela, since he has he's Meshubid to give him money for a Bechar, therefore it makes the star so much stronger. Right? So, Mamela, that with the Mamela, that works according to Rish Lakish's din. That normally we don't use we don't use a, a star, right? Am I mixing up the sheets? Hold on a second. Um, yeah, what did I just say? Rish Lakish holds that you don't have to you don't have to pay it back, right? But here you'd have to pay it back as a shibud of the rice. Right? Oh, right. So the Gemara says, "Yochi, I'm my kosov." So if he has to give him money, so why is he writing it? I mean, if you have to be paid to your kid, you got to give the coin five five coins. Why are you playing shtick and writing a star? So he says, they levaro like coin. No, the only reason why he's writing a star is to choose a coin. Right? He doesn't want the money to go to a different coin. So he writes in the star, my money from my pigeon of Ben is going to this coin. So Gamara asks, benoy, am I in a body? So then why do you say that the son is not redeemed? That the son should be redeemed. Kedaula. So it's like Ula Domar, Ula Dvar Taira, Padi Lukashi Eden. Midday Raisa, a boy is is a baby, is 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 redeemed when the money is given. Oh my time, Amr Burnai ain't a padi. So why is it meaning I'm sorry? The um he writes the star, then he obviously it's not there's no pigeon when he writes the star, he has to actually give the money. Once he gives the money. With the rights of the pigeon, the pigeon. In my time, I don't any other. So why they say that the son is not redeemed? Because if you're going to start getting shtaris involved, then people are going to start thinking that there's a gezeira that one may do pigeon a ben with a star. Um. Yeah. So that's so that's that. So being it's a gzera. So really writing a star would work and then by giving them money, but they made a gzera against. So I'm a Rava. So Rava said, Kitanoi. So this is a new thing. It's not a new thing, it's a continuation. Rava said, the Machloik is Rabbi Yochanan and Rishlokish. Whether somebody writes a star that he owes somebody money is actually Machloik is Tanoim. We're a little bit more than halfway down, Kuf Bez and Aleph. Ari writes, so we know there's something called the cosign. So if somebody could cosign a loan, he's going to be on the hook. So, but normally what you do is you write a star, and then within the star, it says that there's an arif. Right? Within the star, there's an in the star, there's an arif, a cosigner, and then at the bottom of the star, everybody signs. Here, it didn't happen like that. Here, there was a star, then there were signatures, and then on the bottom, it said like IE or PS. What is it? PS? There you go, PS, right? PS, there's an arif here. So that means the, the question is, is that Arif part of the star or not? So Arif Ayyotzachisim Star is if his if he came after the signing of the star, he can collect, he can get money from the Khasim Bene Khairan, which we had said yesterday is is fields and properties that are free, meaning they weren't sold to anybody. They have no liens on them, and it's in the reshus of the borrower. So you can just go take them. All right. Um, and that meaning, so any loan with with Adim can collect from that. But there was a story where they came in front of Rishon and they said, He said, you can collect from the Chasim B'nei Chayrin. 
from the again the ones that are available. Amr Loi Benanas ain't a goyma. Benanas said no, he's not allowed to collect. Loi min chasim ben echayim, loi min chasim shabadim. Not from the chasim that are free, and not even from the chasim that are that have liens on them, meaning that the guy already sold. Amr Loi said they said to Benanas Lama. So Rabbi Shmuel said to Benanas, why not? Amr Loi. Let's say somebody literally means somebody's choking his friend in the street in the shuk, meaning he's trying to collect his loan. And if his friend comes and he sees this going on and he says to him, Leave him alone, I'm gonna give you the money. Right? You see, one friend sees another friend pressuring, pressuring his friend to pay back the loan. And, if, and this guy comes and says, I'll take care of it. And that so what and he then the lender leaves Potter, he's Potter Shaloi Al Shal Halveo. He did not lend him with this with the belief that this guy is going to pay him back. Meaning he wasn't part of the star. So even though he so even though he pulled his leg and he told him he's going to pay him back, he does not have to pay it back, right? So Mamela what? So by here when you have the loan written and then there's signatures, right? And then on the signature, then after the signatures is an array, that's the same thing. Um, right? So Lema, fine. So that's that was the Machlag, Rabbi Shmuel and Benana. So Lema, Rabbi Yochan, and Dhamma Rabbi Shmuel. Let's say Rabbi Yochan, it says like Rabbi Shmuel, who says that you can use it as a regular loan. That's why the guy, the array, can go after the, the properties. Rabbi Yochan, Dhamma Kri, Benana. So Rabbi says like Benana, that uh, you, can't, you can't collect from it. So Gemara says, no, it's not a machloikis. According to bananas, there's no machloikis that, that everybody holds a bananas is going to say that it's not a valid way to collect the loan. Anto me beis now. Keep pligi. I'll leave it with Rabbi Shmuel. The machloikis is going according to Rabbi Shmuel. All right? Um, why? Because Rabbi Yochanan to Rabbi Shmuel. Rabbi Yochanan is going to say like Rabbi Shmuel, right? That... Um, He's not that Mela that is Rabbi Shmuel holds the guys on the hook for the loan, and so does Rabbi Yochanan hold that. Very shlokish and Rabbi says, "Ad kan loy kamar Rabbi Shmuel hasam ela the shayach lele shibudu deraisa." Over there, it's shayach to have a shibud of a deraisa, right? If you have a because a cosigner, there's such a concept. Aval hacha, but here, where as with stama balchayiv, right? So there's no shaykh, there's not shaykh to have a shibud from the Torah. And therefore, since there's no shibud from the Torah, therefore, um, that maybe Rabbi Shmuel would be maida, that it's not going to, that the loan is not going to work. Okay, so therefore, it could very well be that everybody holds like that. That everybody holds like, um, I mean, they're having a machloikis, but in what Rabbi Shmuel says. Um, Fine. So Gufa. Now, okay, so that's that. Now we have still a few harder Gemaras here. Gufa, Amarav Gidal Amarav, Kama Atta Naisa Lubinava. This was a quote from the case that we said before. How much do you give to your kid? Kach Vakach. Kama Atta Naisa Lubinava, Kach Vakach. How much are you bring into the wedding? Right? Regular Tanayim. Amdu Vakidshu, Kano. And then they got up and they made a Kedushan and then they were Kaino. Um, Hold on, just to some some questions coming through that are really time sensitive here. Yeah, okay, sorry. So anyway, so they both made the deal. So these are the things that you can be kind of with Amira. Again, when you make a tenayim before the wedding and then they get married, so that that works and everybody has to keep to their to their deal. So I'm a Rav. Rav, what Rav said, that it's considered an agreement, makes sense where the daughter is a Naira. Why? Because the father gets to collect the Ksuba, right? The father gets to collect the suba and a naira. Again, a naira is from age 12 to 12 and a half. Then the father's allowed to marry off the daughter. And when the kid, the ring doesn't go to the daughter, the ring goes to the father. So the, the, the father is going to make money. So therefore, 
he's 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 willing to do this. Avabageres, but if she's already 12 and a half, he doesn't get any money out of it. That he's not getting any hano, loy. So it doesn't work. So then he says, Kim, but but that's like sort of like a um that's it's not like a it's like a shvua type. So it's like he's like swearing. It says Vayal Kim. Amar Rav, Afilu Begeres. That Rav, when he said his din, it's even Begeres. Meaning they thought to say that it only works when the father has has something to prop from it. But when he's marrying off a girl over 12 and a half, it's, it's not his business. He's not getting any money. So you shouldn't be able to make this verbal agreement. And they say, no, Rav says even Begeres. Why? Because if you say, if you don't say it's even a Begeres, ben my hano The father, right, the good. So you want to say that the father of the girl and the father of the guy are making a deal. So we're trying to say that the father of the girl has to have something in it. And what's in it for the father of the guy? He's not getting anything. Right? The father of the guy is not getting anything. The girls, the girl gets to keep money. The girl's father gets to keep some money from the age 12 to 12 and a half. But the girl, the guy, the guy's father doesn't get anything. And yet the deal still works. So it must be. So it must be that it's that it works. Ella, so what's the hana though? Ella bahi hana the kamikhatni adadi. This Hana that they're becoming Michotana with each other, Gemiri Dodi. So therefore, since there's a, some sort of benefit of them being able to do a, a Shidduch together, so that benefit makes it that you can make this deal. So the Gemara asks, Ravashi, Are you allowed to write these things down or not? All right? Meaning when they're making this agreement between them without writing it down for the wedding. Can they can they write it or can they not write it? All right. Um, because, now what's the difference? Write it or not write it? So the difference is because when you write it, then you could even go after properties that were sold before this deal. Right? Again, the, the main difference between having a star and not a star. So you don't have a star, you can only go after properties that are available. From either the le- from the borrower or from the seller, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But once you have it in a star, then you can even go after properties that were previously sold to somebody else. That basically there's liens on it. So he's asking, can you do? Can you like? Can you do this or not? Yeah. So so I'm really like No, you're not allowed to write it. Fine. So Aceve. So again, Ravashi said you cannot write this star down. It has to be a verbal agreement because otherwise, if you're going to write it. Then people are going to be able to do collections. So, so Aceve, so there's going to be three kashas on this. Aceve, how pikchin, what does it say in our mission? The smart men, how you koisvin, they would write, Almanasha ezan is pitcha chamish on right? Instead of them getting stuck doing all this paying for five, you know, five years, they write, I'm only going to feed your daughter, meaning their stepdaughter calls man sha'atimi, as long as you're married to me. Right? So it says, koisvin, they're allowed to write this deal. Why they allowed to write the deal? Rav Shesha just said no writing deals. I'm sorry, Rav Ashi just said no writing deals. So my cousin, no. When the Mishnah says they wrote it, it means Imrim. It means they said they didn't. They're not. They're not writing it. So Gemara says, "Vakari leila mirok siva." Can you call saying something as writing something? So it says in yes, but not. And we actually learned this in the Mishnah. Kaisiv leishtei dinu dvarim ainly benichasayich. Right? We had this a bunch of blood ago. So he writes to his wife. That I'm not going to have any any dealings with you. Meaning, um, this is talking about where where the who's going to get the ksuba and where the money's going to come from. He says, "Don't worry." The guy says uh, <clears throat> he, he's not going to do any collections on his wife's property or belongings. The Tanurim Chiyah means Ha'aimer. It doesn't mean the writing, All right? So Toshema. So that's it. So therefore, you see that there's such a concept. Of writing, writing, saying that something's written and really just means said. So that's what our mission means too. Okay, so second kasha, Toshima, in Kaisen story, Erisim and the Suan. Yeah. From that Gemara, Rashi said, the light on the Kaisen. But Ravchia had a different Girsa in the Mishnah. It's not that it says Kaisen and it means Amira. Ravchia learned that the Mishnah said Aimer. What are you saying? Here the Gemara is saying, proving that Kaisiv can mean Aymer because Akaisiv le Ishtai. And Rabbi Kiyah says it means Aymer. Right? Right. 
there on that Gemara, the Tani Ruchia, Rashi says, Veloy Tani Kaisif. Ruchia's Girsu was Haimer, not a Kaisif. Right, but he's saying, I don't, um, I don't, not everybody agreed to that. Right? Was that Pasha? No, that was Rashi. I was wondering why Rashi said that, but Rashi's arguing with this Gemara, it seems. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, is that I thought we had an issue with it, whether that was or that wasn't. You're saying it was Pasha that way? I mean, our Gemara seems to say that it's the, the, the gear, there's only one gear, sir. Hakaisu. But Ruchia learns that Hakaisu means Ha'imer. Right, but that meant, I didn't, I didn't learn that he had, that was his Girsa. Rashi there on Hakaisu in Pei Gimel says it, that, that he didn't have Hakaisu. The okay, then Kaisu. that's a Shreya yeah, and a Hanami. That's Shreya from this Gemara. Yeah. That's Shreya, right, you're right. Um. Yeah. Fine. Okay. I don't know. That taka. I hear. Fine. Good kasha. Fine. Next kasha. Toshma. In kais and shtori erisim in the suin. We don't write shtori erisim in the suin. Elam idashneim. Only they both have to agree. Meaning the chasan and the kala, or the chasan and the kala's parents. Right. Hami dashneim kaisin. If it's a das of both, then you're allowed to write it. My love shtori psikta. Isn't this talking about like a shtar tenaim that you could write it? So you see that you can write the stars. And when the loy story erisin mamish, no, it's talking about the actual star of erisin. Meaning, there's three ways, right? The first mission of kedushin. There's three ways to marry a woman: kesef, star, and bia. So a star, a star is not a ksuba. A star is like he gives a star to the woman and says, "I am going to marry you." Right? To the rapapa, it's like it's like rapapa. Um, hold on, somebody in the hospital is calling. Let me just see if he. Hello. Hello? Hello. Can you talk in a half hour? See if a shower happens at all. Anyways. <laughs> so, uh, so you say, no, it's so much Star Arison. Again, not, it's, uh, Star Arison is not a suit. If you want, I can send you a showering card and you can take a shower later. <laughs> I hear, I hear. Very good. Very good. Check, check the, check the sheets. The, check, check the sheets. Sure. Yes, I know. I have to. No, I have cards to give out on Yom Tov, especially some Chastayra. Keep them in my pocket. It's like it's the old version of a of a quick text. <laughs> but I have to find the cards. I don't know where they are. But anyways, okay. So Gemara says, "Loy Star Erison, Mom. She's so much Star Erison. Again, that's not a Ksuba. Star Erison is that instead of giving her money, this is the way I would like get married. You know, why should I buy, spend money on a ring? I just write a Star in Zagazun, right? So that's what it's referring to. Kid Rapapavir of Sharia, like Rapapavir of Sharia, Yitmar Kasu Lishma Vishalay Midaita. Let's say they wrote a Star of getting married in her name, but without her knowing about it. Rabbi Ravina Amri Mikudeshes. Rabbi Ravina says she's still married, even though." She didn't know about it. And she's not Mikdashas. Right? So according, so according to Rapap and Rav Sharvia, the, the Chiddush of the Mishnah is that it works. Right? Fine. So then the Gemara asks the third Kasha on Rav, Rav Ashi. Now again, Rav Ashi says that they cannot write down this deal. Tashima, Mesu saying, Mesu, I'm sorry, if they die, meaning the husbands die, what happens? When I say in Nizanis, when the Chasm, when they their own, their own kids can only collect money from lands that are available, properties that are available. But the stepdaughters can even go collect their food from properties that were previously sold, which doesn't make any sense, right? This guy's own daughter can only collect from available properties, and his stepdaughter can even go to, to properties that were previously sold. Why? We said because McNay, she could buy the slave. She's a bailas chayv, right? And a bailas chayv, you a, a proper loan is a you can go collect from properties that were previously sold. So, so therefore, what? There must be a. It has to have a star. If she doesn't have a star, so how could that work? So am I asking on Talking about where he was, uh, 
where they actually were kind of, again, a Kenyan here doesn't mean that they were kind of the money. They made a Kenyan suder, like we do with Mechiris Chametz. You know, you give, one gives the yamaka or the shmata or the pen, and the other one says, okay, I'm giving it to you. So there was an actual Kenyan here. So the, if that's the case, be, be meaning between the father and the stepdaughter. So Iyachi bin Nais Nami, then their own daughters also. Who says that they didn't make this Kenyan between the two of them? So our answer was, Kanu Lezu, but like Kanu Zu, no, he only did the Kenyan with the stepdaughter. He didn't do the Kenyan with his own daughter. Okay, so Gemara says, Umay Piska. Well, I mean, you're saying some sort of, again, it comes from the word Psak, but it doesn't really mean that. You're saying, basically what you're saying is that a father would never do this for his daughter, but he would do it for his stepdaughter, right? So my, so we're saying, my Piska. So Ihi, the Havoy Bishas Kenyan, she was there when he was marrying his, his the mother, right? She was in, she was in existence. Mahani lo Kenyan, so he works at Kenyan Banois, but the daughters, they're not in existence. When a guy got married, he didn't, he didn't have his daughters yet. The Loi Havoy Bishas Kenyan, they weren't there Bishas Kenyan. So then the Kenyan doesn't work. Right? I mean, you could do a Kenyan with somebody who's around. You can't do a Kenyan with somebody who's not around. So the Gemara answers, Mila Yaskinan, the Havoy, Bishas, Kenyan. Can we not be talking about where they were there, Bishas, Kenyan? Who says that it's talking about your standard case where a guy gets married and then he has children? Maybe, maybe what he did, what would be the case? Maybe the case is like this. Maybe this Kedushin, I mean, it's a weird case, but the guy gets married, has kids, divorces his wife, and then remarries his wife, right? So since he remarries his wife, the kid, the, his own daughters were in existence, so maybe he could do a Kenyan. Ella, so that Teretz doesn't work. Ella, he, he, he the lesser of the Tanai Bezdin, she is not in a, she does not have a Tanai Bezdin, right? A stepdaughter is not part of a Tanai Bezdin. You have to feed your own daughters. That's what Bezdin tells you. To do. You don't have to feed your stepdaughter. This guy agreed to it. So Mahani lo Kenyan. So the Kenyan helps. Bono is the Isnu, but Tanai Bezdin. But the daughters, which is part of tonight, Bezdin, Lai Mahani lo Kenyan, then the Kenyan doesn't work. So Gemara says, Migragari. It should be worse, right? Meaning something that's a tonight, Bezdin, the father should be more Mechuyiv to feed, not less Mechuyiv. Right? Again, we're saying here that the stepdaughter doesn't, doesn't, uh, he, she has a Kenyan with the father. But the regular daughter is not, because the regular daughter is part of a tonight bezdin. So you're saying that somebody who's part of a tonight bezdin, they can't go collect properties from. They can't go collect from properties that were previously sold. So that can't be Ella. But nice of hind time, but the reasons that the daughters can only get from property that was available, even the isnu with tonight bezdin, since they're in the tonight bezdin, Amar Sorari Atfasinu. Maybe he literally means he gave them he of. Uh, Trari means uh, wrappings or, or bags of money. Yeah. Right? Meaning, since he knew with a Tanai Bezdin that he has to feed his daughters, so, so, so he, he probably gave his daughters money, or it's a good chance that he gave his daughters money before they, before they, uh, before, the, before he died. Mashenki and the stepdaughters, he would never do anything like that. So since it could very well be that these daughters were paid off, Therefore, we don't say that they can go collect from properties that he previously sold. Right? Okay, so then, so that's the hard part of the daf. Um, yeah, so now we get to the more gishmak. If this next line would be very, uh, I mean, it would be, unfortunately, it's very, it's very uh, uh, applicable, but okay, but we're not going to be that much time. So, lo yaymar harishan. So we said, the first husband can't say that if she lives by my house, I'll feed her, but I don't want to have to go send her the food. What the, Gemara, what the Mishnah means to say is that a daughter goes to her mother, meaning the, the daughter, the mother has a right to bring up the daughter, right? Which is the raya from this, from this Gemara with, based on the Rashi, that the, that the mother really gets, uh, what do we call it? Custody. In a divorce case and these type of things, the mother really gets custody. Right? Um, even though Rashi says, of the we don't force her to live by her parents, but it could very well be that if the if the kids decide that they want to live by the father instead of the daughter, it's Masha from this Rashi, 
Rashi around the ten lines up. It's Masha from the Rashi that they could go live by their father if they so choose. Right? The Gemara is saying Lechatrila they don't. What are Rashi, you saying? Rashi says the Mishnah is talking about a case where the father died. So they don't go to live by his brother. Well, but that's going to be the next case. We're talk, but No, but I think Ra, he means saying Rashi is only saying it in this. Yeah, with Hira. No, but it's it's going to be if you're saying Zaysamaris is a bas etzel ima, so that's going to apply in all cases. No. Then why does Rashi say v'loy la'achel v'loy ketani lebeis achia? Because that's the case. That happens to be the case here. No. Uh huh. I think, I think. So well, let, let's see the Gemara Vaitu. Who says we're talking about um, uh, an older girl? Dilma, the Katana Skinna. Maybe we're talking about a Katana. Umashum and, and a Katana, the reason why it says that you that the father doesn't have to doesn't the father has to send food to her is because the the daughter goes always to the mother. And with the Maisa Shahoya, what's the Maisa Shahoya? The Tanya Misha Mais, the Mir Ben Cotton Leimai, if somebody dies. And there was a Ben Cotton, a young kid, a Yasum, and is stayed by the mother. Yarshayav, I'm Rim Yehe Kadal, let's say, and the Yarshim of the father say, no, let him stay by us. Bima, I'm Rim Yehe Ben Yehe let's leave. And the mother says, no, let the daughter, let the baby stay by me. We put the kid by the mother. It's a Roy, the Yarshay. We don't give him to the people that are right to be Yarshim, to Yarshim. Why? Because my Sahayyab is Shachtu, Erev Harishim. There's a lot of controversy with this Ayan Reish Hei Roshay Tevis on the bottom line here. It says what happened, well, well, there's a few issues here. So first thing is that these brothers, or whoever the Yarshim were, uncles, whoever, they didn't want this kid around because like this, he's going to be get part of the Yerusha. If, if they knock him off, they'll they'll get more of Yerusha. So they convinced the mother to let the kids stay by them. And they killed him the first night, Erev Harishan. They didn't even, they didn't, they, they were so money hungry, the Gemara is saying, that they killed him Erev Harishan. Right? Now, if you look at that little ches, if you look in the Masara Sashas, so it's Erev Harishan, but there's others that said Erev, Erev uh, Rosh Hashanah, some thought it was, and some thought Erev HaPesach. Um, that's what, that's if you look at the Masar Sashas Ches, but he says that oh, it's just a mistake. Whoever whoever said that, right? Fine. So, but whatever it is, you see, because of that Maisa Shahaya, they would never let a kid live by the other Yarshim because they're afraid they're going to kill him, right? So it's interesting. What's the Lushan Shachta? What's the Lushan of Shachtu, right? I don't know. So it's a lot of kashas on this, but uh, we don't have time for the look now. But that's uh, but the interesting lashon of shaktu. Um, fine. Uh, so in Cain, so, Gemara, so again, the Gemara's kasha is that maybe the reason why they have to send the food to the girl is because she's a katana, and we're afraid that she'll get killed if, if she goes to live with the men. But maybe by a gedayla you wouldn't have this. The Gemara says in Cain, listen to lemakim shehi. Why wouldn't the Mishnah say, send it to the girl wherever she is? Why does it say, Lamakam Ima? Right? Why did it have to say that for? My Lamakam, Anta Amir Aleph, now my Lamakam Shima. What does it mean to the Makam that the mother is? Shamas Mina. We learn, we learn from this, Bas Eitzalaim, that the daughter is always by the mother. Lashna Gedayla, Lashna Katana. Doesn't make a difference if she's in a Katana or a Gedayla. She has to stay by the mother. Fine. Then the Gemara says, Lo Yom Rishneim. So both of them, the both fathers, the both ex, yeah. Is this different for, for a boy or a girl? We said by Nagayo and Sukkot that, a, that a, a boy doesn't have to sleep in the sukkah as long as he, as he needs his mother. Is that different for a boy or for a girl? Again, what are you saying? We're saying that for a girl, she's always by her mother, whether she's a katana or a gadala. Is that different by, by a boy? We said by Sukkot that a boy has to sleep in the sukkah once. It doesn't have to sleep oh, in the sukkah so long as he needs his mother. To um, yeah. I'm just curious if there's a difference. 
I hear. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, it's a good horror. It's interesting. It's interesting horror. <clears throat> if you want to be on a diyma, just wait to the top of Ahmed base. That's true. I was well. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. <laughs> Very good. Anyways, so lady, lo yom rishneim. It's a good aura. I wish you okay. There's too much to do. Baruch Hashem. Okay. So lo yom rishneim. So both of them can't say. The fathers can't say. Okay, one of us will feed, and then we'll between the two of us will take care of the situation. No, that's not the way it works. So each one has to give money. So who gavra? So it was a guy, he rented out his, his grinding places to his friend for Trinam. He didn't have money. So he rented out in order to make income. So he had a rental to, for the grinding thing. But then he got wealthy. So he didn't need, meaning the guy, the lender, he lent it out to the guy to make money. Right? And uh, well, he, so again, I'm sitting outside. Okay, here, you know, I got to look at my phone. If upon, somebody only has time to, uh, also the B'dichusa, maybe a little bit of joke here. She only has time to either clean the house for Yom Tif or do Tashlich. Which one first? Okay, I don't know. Yeah. Um, fine, no, nobody wants that's, to give me an answer. That's, don't, wait till last, don't wait till the last that's minute. A, that's a Shalom Bayez question right there. I smell it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? One, yeah. one minute for the rice, uh, one's a minute. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, if you go with the tweets, you can do it by your sink. So I don't know why she can't. You know what I did? Tasha last night on way back from Lakewood on the Verrazano. You know what I said? The Sasha from Matsula is, what is it? How's the Pusik? The Sasha, whatever I said. That was the Pusik. I said it shine. That was my Tasha. Um, fine. Anyway, so who got the dog? I'm not that saying I'm proud easy. of that, but that's what's well, it easier when you don't have any Averis to throw out. Yeah, uh, correct. They, the Verrazano Bridge couldn't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, anyways, <clears throat> so basically, the guy rented out his grinding thing to make money, then he became wealthy, so he didn't need the income from the rental. So, Zabin Rechai Vachamra. So what he did is he, he bought his own mills or his own, what do you call it? Uh, his own uh, his mill and the way they did it with a donkey, like in the old movies, the donkey would walk around. Yeah. So Amr Alei, so he said to him, to the guy who rented him, till now, um, you, I did my grinding on the mill that you rented from me. Hashta, Havli Agra. But now, give me, and meaning the way the deal was, the way the guy paid rent, was by giving him stuff that he ground up. He says, now I don't need your stuff because I can grind myself. So you got to pay me cash. No, I'm going to give you, I'm still going to give you uh, um, whatever they were grinding. So Savar, Ravina, Lamemas, Ravina thought, he said, and that's our Mishnah. Why? Because both of them can't say we're going to feed you like one. One has to feed and one has to give the, the money. Right? Um, because uh, because it's, I mean, we're trying to compare the meaning here the, 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 the lease, I guess it was a lease or a rental, was that the person's going to pay for his rent in, in grinding. Grind, he's going to do services instead of paying cash. Right? But it's and it no, it doesn't need it anymore. Right? So you still have to, you still have to, you have to pay something. Same thing with the fathers. Even though the girl doesn't need the money, she has another father paying her the food. Why does she need the money for? Yet he still has to pay. So the guy should have to pay cash. So I'm a of Avira. Ravira said, No, me dummy, it's not similar. Hasam Khad Kresa Isla. The girl has one stomach. Tarti, even though I don't I don't know, it's also Nyana Diyam. Because I feel like I got two stomachs, right? Trey Krisa Celestla, right? She, she doesn't have two stomachs, right? So Mamela, she can't, you can't feed her twice. So then you have to give her money. Here, the guy who's renting and is grinding, Tochen <coughs> Vizavin, he says, Go, you go grind and sell. Tochen Vaisiv, or you can grind and keep it, right? Meaning there's nothing, there's nothing that you're losing here. The guy's not losing anything here. 
So the Gemara says, but that only works. That's only what he does not have. He doesn't have enough, meaning the mill is not running 24 hours a day. But if he has enough to keep the mill, the grinder going, in that case, we force him on Midas Daim that he has to do it because why not? Why should he take a freebie? Yeah. Um, yeah, fine. So talk to Mishnah. Almana, how much time do we have? Five minutes? Okay, we'll try and do it. Okay, this is this should be easier. It's faster. Almana, Shamra, he, he actually loves him base pilot. Almana says, I can't, I can't, um, I can't move from my house. And she wants, meaning her husband's house. She loses her husband. She says, I gotta, I gotta live in my husband's house. Ain't a Yarshin, Yochan, Lamrila, the Yarshin cannot tell her, Lachila, Beis Avicha, get out and go home to your father's house. We'll pay for your food. They have to feed her and they have to give her that house. Right? They feed her and they give her that house. Meaning they cannot kick out this, unfortunately, comes up also. The, you know, the Yarshin want to sell the house and the, the Almana is there. You cannot kick out the Almana. Amra, if she says, EF, she loves me, base Avav, she says, I don't want to leave my father's house. The Yarshin could tell her, If you live with us, then we'll feed you. If you're not with us, then we can't feed you. Right? So that basically, when she's at home, when she's staying in her father's house, they have to feed her. When she's not, they don't have to feed her. If she says that the reason why she can't live with them is because they're young and she's young and she doesn't want any, any preachers going on. Right? She doesn't want any preachers. Then they have to feed her even by her father's house. Meaning she has a good reason why she can't stay there. Right? Then, uh, then she... Then she doesn't have to, then she gets, she has to be fed. She doesn't have to leave. Fine. So it's ugly. She works, she uses the house. Um, she uses the house the same way the, she can, um, the same way she used it that when her husband was alive. Same thing with the slaves. It's the same way. Pillows and blankets. Meaning everything she gets to use in the same in the same way. This is what he writes. You're going to sit in my house and you're going to be fed from my belongings. All of all the days that you are living in my house as an Ammon. Fine, so they have to keep everything. Yeah, so Tony Rabbi Yosef, a base of a bakasi in my house, but not in a, a bakasi, really means like a trif, it's not like a teepee. A sukkah? Right? I guess a sukkah, right? If there's no room, if you guys living in a sukkah, so if there's no room, then that's it. Right? So Omar Rab Nahun, it's meaning. If, and it doesn't have to, I don't know why they want to use the lushan of a sukkah. What happens if it's just a one bedroom house and there's no room? Right? So I don't know. Okay, I'm going to now. Yusayim Shemachru Mother Almana, Yusayim that sell the, let's say the Yusayim go and sell the house. They didn't do anything and they can, the, the, the sale is no good. Why is it different from Rabasi and Rabyachan and Rabasi and Rabyachan? If Yusayim Shekanu Machru and Chasim Wat, and you have Yusayim. So the boys, right? The boys, Yarshin. The girls don't. But we said that the bo- girls have to be fed. So if the Yasimim quickly sell, right? Doesn't sound like there's too much love here. Right? So Yasimim <coughs> go and quickly sell some belongings so they don't have to feed. Um, they, they don't have to feed the, the sisters. So if they sold, they sold. So how come that works? They're not allowed to sell the Almona's house, but they are allowed to sell their sisters. So it says, There, they weren't Meshubed from their lifetime, meaning it only became theirs once the father died. But here, by the, by the, by the Almona, even when the father was alive, they knew. Right, even when the father is alive, they're allowed to. Let's say the house falls down, 
Let's say the house that the Alman is living in, it falls down. They're not mechuyiv to rebuild it. Tani nami yochiv, mother Alman, shenafal. If it if the house of an Alman fell down, ena yoshan chayim of Rabbi Yosei, they're not mechuyiv to build it. Belay oid ela filu hi ameres and nichuni vevnenu mishali. Even if she says, leave it, and I'm going to build it with my own money, ain't shemel. They don't have to listen to her. Right? Meaning it's it's interesting. Like if she says, I'll pay for the, I'll pay to rebuild the house. Nope. They don't have, they can knock her out. Right? Boy, I buy a sheep to my, what happens if she wants to, she puts in, right? She wants to, uh, she fixed the house. The house is falling down. She did fix it. Right? Then can she say, hey, I put all this money into it. Right? So can that, does that work or not? So the Gemara says, take it. Fine. Uh <laughs> I don't know if the island down in or not. Okay, let's run through it. Amr if he's if she says um, that she can't stay either the father's house or her own house, why don't they pay her money? Just because she wants to live by her father, they don't have to give her money. So Messiah Rav Huna, Dama Rav Huna, this is a major Yasai. We had this once before somewhere. The more people living in the house, the more bracha you get. The more people in the house, the more mazli you get. Right? We said people that don't want to have so many kids, et cetera, et cetera, realize that this is a big zach. The more people living in the house, guests, having guests, and this and that, the more mazel. So therefore, you, Simon, are saying to the extent where they could say, hey, you're not living with us. We're going to have less mazel. We're going to earn less money. So therefore, we have to give you less money. It's wild when you think about it, if you have time to think about it. <laughs> so then why don't they give her? According to ratio, the birchas of meaning let's say they make ten thousand dollars, so at least give her a portion of that. Why is it that she, they don't have to give her at all? Achanami, so they do, they do, they do have to pay it in ratio. The lashon of chacham can give bracha, can make wealth, it can you can heal. Bracha hadamar and the chacham teaching you something parenthetically that will tell you that you can get a bracha by having people in your house. Aisha. The Chacham can tell you things that can make you wealthy. If somebody sells fruit to his friend, let's say, and he, he, meaning he's selling fruit, you the guy to return it. Contrary to popular belief, return policies are not part of Yiddishkeit, if there was a proper Kenyan. Right? So, let's say he pulled it, but he didn't measure it. Uh, he is kind of it. If he measured it, but he didn't pull it, then like kind because that's not a proper Kenyan. Right? You have to actually pick it up or pull it. If he's a smart guy, he should rent the place where the guy's standing because there's something called a Kenyan, a Kenyan Agav Karka, which is one of the Kenyan we do in Mechiras Chomets. So how, how are you selling a guy Chomets, a guy Chomets? Nobody's going anywhere near your house. So what you do is you rent him some Karka. The Rav rents him Karka. And then Agav, the Karka, everything goes, right? the, every rabbi has to say a closet in the house that he's renting to the guy. And Agav, the Karka, goes to Kenyan. So if you're smart, you do that. So... That will keep your business going. Chachamah teaching you can do that to keep your business going, right? Marpe, how do they teach you how to heal? The Tanan lo yilois adam chitin v'yinei achagavim makazibes. A person shouldn't chew wheat and put it on his makam pesach. Why? It may shemach mitzvahs because it's going to become chametz. So what do they teach you with that? That chewed up wheat can actually provide healing. Tanur abanim b'shas pitirasa sherebi sherebi. When Rebbe was nifter, Amar levne levana Amar he said the the bana ani tzarich. I need my sons. So his sons came to him. He's already covered up. You have to be careful to, to respect your mother. You should have a, a light, a candle lit in my place. And also you have a, this table should be set. You should have a bed set, um, a bed made. They should be they should be Mishamash me, that these two people who were my Shamashim when I was alive should also take care of me when I'm dead. Uh, I guess we have to stop here. I, I don't know. I think the island has to, I guess, too much. Okay. Tried. Anyways, if the island looks on the top of Ahmed Bay's is Mamish Tomorrow's Daf is Moshe Rabbeinu's Petira, which is, which is Mamish the laning of Zeis Habracha. If you look to the top of Ahmed Bay's, but I guess we'll do it, we'll do it much <laughs> We'll do a much younger Bez Hashem, but it's tomorrow's daf. This is tomorrow's daf, so whatever. I don't see. I appreciate the island tuning in. Good uh, Thank you very much. Do you, like Daris, do you like you like Yantif Neris in the sukkah tonight, or you light inside? If you're eating in the if you're eating in the sukkah, you light in the sukkah. Okay, okay, okay.
Send regards to Nachi and Feige, please. I will. <laughs> All right. Okay. Zag is up, everybody. Good to see you, Sach Nachas. Thank you. Thank you. Zag is up. Gershon, I hope you feel good. Dance or whatever.